Blake Hortzman and Becca Koov reunite in San Diego over the weekend with Becca's new boyfriend, Thomas, and we have all of the details. Hey guys, and welcome back to another shared news from home. We have all the details you need to know on this big Bachelor alum group hanging out in San Diego this weekend. But before we do that, make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. Ring the bell so you never miss out on any Bachelor Nation tea. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality. And a huge and almost random group of Bachelor alums got together over the weekend in San Diego to go to a music festival. And we have to get into all the crossovers, starting with Blake, who was actually DJing at the festival. He was on Becca's season of The Bachelorette. He made it all the way to the final two, and he was heartbroken when Becca dumped him for Garrett. I think it was actually one of the most, if not the most, dramatic breakups of all time. Blake was sobbing, crying. He was shocked, blindsided, thought he was getting engaged to Becca Kufrin. It was so dramatic. Rewatch it if you guys do not remember it, but Becca ended up choosing Garrett from that season, and they were together for about two years before their engagement ended. And right after their engagement ended, Bachelor Nation was already shipping Blake with Becca. There was rumors that they were talking. Blake admitted that they were kind of talking at one point. There was so many rumors about the two of them rekindling for so many months, all the way up until it was revealed or announced that Becca Koof was going to Bachelor in paradise. It was literally the day up to when Becca left. Blake expressed many frustrations about people using him and Becca for clickbait. So, so sorry to do that to you yet again, Blake, but we got to talk about this because Blake seemed to be a little upset that Becca may have moved on or maybe he wasn't. It was kind of confusing. But Thomas, Becca's new BFF from Bachelor in Paradise, was also there. So maybe there was a little bit of an awkward interaction between Becca and Thomas and Blake, but I think Blake and Becca should be good now. They should just be friends. Blake seems to be over the situation. Like I said, he was DJing, but you know, when you have a new hunky tall man right next to your ex, I'm sure it could bring back up a little emotion. So not sure how Blake was feeling. Some other people there were Hannah G and Dylan, who also were in a love triangle with Blake on Bachelor in Paradise season six. Hannah G famously chose Dylan over Blake and now Hannah G and Dylan are engaged. They live together in San Diego, have been together the past two years. So what a really difficult weekend for Blake with all of his exes running around. Abigail and Noah were also there as well as former Bachelorette Katie who had some sort of beef with Thomas, who's Becca's boyfriend, obviously. Thomas was on Katie's season where she famously sent him home with the line, your Bachelor audition ends tonight. And leading up to Paradise, Katie made it known that she did not like Thomas, that he had red flags, and that whoever Thomas dated in Paradise has to be cautious. So do we think that Katie and Becca had a conversation? Because Katie did say some things about Thomas, so maybe she wanted to check in with Becca. Maybe it was awkward between Thomas and Becca because of their history. John from Katie's season was also there as well, but the two of them have remained close friends since Katie's season ended. Katie definitely seems like a guy's girl. She has a lot of guy friends, and a source told us that Katie was very shy over the weekend, very intimidated by some of the other Bachelor alums. I mean, it definitely was probably awkward for some people, but then why would these all these Bachelor alums get together to begin with? I think a lot of times when a cast or people in Bachelor Nation kind of go on the show, share an experience. There is this sort of respect and maybe even family aspect involved in all of these people. But I don't think anyone has to hang out with anyone they don't want to hang out with. So I'm kind of going to assume that everything was all good, even though there seems to be a lot of awkward pasts and dating history. And if you put a dating tree together, I mean, this whole thing would be a mess. But all these Bachelor alums got together. They had a great weekend, and I'm sure it would have been amazing to be a fly on the wall. But I want to hear from you guys. I want to know which do you think was the most awkward encounter over the weekend between all of these people? Was it Katie and Thomas, Blake and Becca? Blake and Dylan, Thomas and Blake. There's so many people we could get into. So let us know what you think down below. And before you guys go, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because we'll be back with more Bachelor Nation tea. As always, I'm your host, Zachary Reality. You guys can follow me down below. Come talk all things Bachelor with me because I never stop talking about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. That's all we have. So we'll catch you next time. See you later.